-hmm. Okay, so it's a pleasure to have uh, Jivu uh, today in the Bilk Anthropology Seminar. And uh, he's from Hebei Normal University and he's going to tell us about uh, hypergraph homology and its applications. Yeah, please Ji, go ahead. Okay, yeah. So thank you very much. So it's my pleasure to give a, a talk on this uh, uh, work on the hypergraph homology. I want to thank uh, Siham for, for in inviting me to, to give some presentation in your seminar. Okay. So the, the what, what I'm trying to explain is the is about the following themes on the methods. So 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 let's see. The first 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 part I try to say is about the why I want to look at the uh, hypergraph topology. So this I explain some uh, motivations, at least from my point of view. Okay. Then, then we explain how can we make uh, topology on hypergraph. So this is the, at least the, at the moment, you have, we have a natural homology theory. We can put on hypergraphs. And then uh, finally, I will explain actually when we finish this, uh, uh, some mathematical part to introduce some hypergraph homology, then we, use data to test it. So there are some, some successful uh, applications in data. Okay, so let's, let's what I try to explain. Okay, so now uh, let, let me start. Let me start. Okay, so the, the actually, uh, if we uh, look at this, so this is aiming to the data science. Okay, so I'm uh, not talking about Alice yet. So, so I'm, I'm pick up the data science to look. So this uh, people look at the data science. So that means you try to, you know, to to do some uh, data analytics, right? And so so on our hand, there are some data, and there are, of course there there are some many forms of data. Like uh, you pick uh, point cloud, or you yeah, there's other ways people say use graphs, right? This will be like. Uh, Networks so they use graphs. Now, there's a, if you read there's a recent paper. This is so called the I think in the bottom it, it says the uh, this is in the physics uh, reports. Yes, published last year. This is a review article. I think there are more than eight hundred references in this article. What they talk about? They talk about is like uh, how. But it is uh, one of the main strengths in future. So, uh, uh, like classically, people look at the take models on, on the to do it. The network is try to look at the pairwise interactions. So, the you have objects say A, B, C, D, and uh, if there's a uh, interaction between A and B, then drawing a line. And uh, so, so, so that will be naturally you make graphs. Now, there, there are uh, actually there's many practical problems about involving, uh, it's not just like uh, peer-wise interaction, you could have a group interaction. That means like ABC, actually they, they group the collect to, uh, to, to, for, for uh, interaction. And uh, let's say there's people, if you look at the co-authorship network, that's canonically like ABC, they have joined the work, but AB does not have. And uh, AC may not have, right? So, so that's kind of like you have a, uh, uh, some group interaction. And uh, particularly if you go to say biology, there will be some, you know, yes, there will be uh, several genes, uh, though they may be interact, uh, interactions together. You also need uh, three or more. So, so, well, this example just say that uh, it is natural that in the practice, in practice, there are uh, it, uh, there are some some situation that uh, you do have to consider some objects three or more the in, uh, interactions between them. Now, uh, actually, in this article, then this he says that well. Uh, this is according to his view, right? He uh, looks through this, uh, this survey 
review articles. So, so, so look at the over many references and actually we got a conclusion like uh, uh, simplicial complex and hypergraphs are natural mathematical notions for describing group interactions. So, so in other words, you can think about the ABC, there, there's a, uh, uh, there's a interactions, ABC, then you draw a triangle, right? So that's the way. And uh, now, now in practice, people was try to make model as general as possible. Now, actually, the, uh, if you look at this abstract way, the simplicial complex is, is quite general. So this is just like a collection of finite uh, Sets and you you, you only require to like uh, the subset of subsets uh, the closed of subset operations like uh, you see ABC is there then it, all subsets of ABC then they must be inside there so this is only one condition there and uh, but uh, in some practical sense they say oh we try to make it more general so you try to remove this constraint condition. So mm -hmm. that, that's like uh, you, you try to, okay, so you put, put the, like a hypergraph. Well, hypergraph is just like a collection of finite sets in their description. Okay, so that, that's a way you think. So, so that, that's like, uh, okay, so that, then, then this is from the practice. They say, okay, so you try to make a most general thing to describe. And now come back to, to our situation. So they look at, it. okay, so can we, make some hypergraph topology, at least uh, there are some views which have some, you know, certain topology you can put inside for, for hypergraph. And then, uh, uh, let me see what happens. Like actually we, uh, as I said, uh, uh, in end I will explain when we tested the body, uh, some uh, practical questions and uh, it seems it works very well. Okay, uh, so, so let, let's look more motivation, yes. Excuse me, may I ask you a question? Yes, sure. So, so you said that simplicial complexes are too restrictive, but topology-wise, wouldn't it suffice to just take a very centric subdivision to resolve all problems? Mm, if you do, of course, you can do, do the very centric uh, subdivisions. But first thing, uh, if you do that, it, I, I guess some, uh, complexity will, uh, will goes up, right? I guess they may not, allow, but the, the, if, you, if you look at the, uh, you, you, you ask the, why the, the hypergraph, if you do very centric subdivision, it does not catch your hypergraph, right? Yeah, so what? Oh, actually it is a hypergraph. I mean, obviously any any simplicial complex is a hypergraph. Yeah, it? yeah, it's a hypergraph, yes. I mean, so you, 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 you will say, uh, if you, uh, you do the very centric subdivision to, to catch it, if they, they give a, uh, give a hypergraph, then I use uh, uh, barycentric subdivision to, to do that. Is, is, is it what, what would they ask? No, I'm just asking, wouldn't it be enough to resolve all problems? What is the... Like... Well, mm -hmm. Okay, like to do homology, well, to study the topology of this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I will explain. Okay. First of all, I pick up the motivation first. Uh, actually, at, at the moment, uh, the geometry is still not clear to me, but, but at least when I say hypergraph homology, topology, at least uh, there's a natural homology here we can put in there. Then we can think more for, for, for next. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so now uh, let me move to next. Time. Okay, so this is the motivation. So actually, we just tried, you know, uh, make topology as general as possible. I, I think that's, that's a, a broad application, uh, uh, what we want. Okay, so now, now, now let, let, let's back to how can we put that. Okay, I pick up this question, then, then let's look. So uh, the view from the, uh, our view to look at the hypergraph, actually I would think about this is incomplete simplicial complex. In, in a sense, so, so let's read the abstract simplicial complex meaning. So the only constrained condition we said that if A belongs to this collection of uh, finite sets, say A belongs to K, if B is a, a subset of uh, A, then B belongs to that. So the, that, that's the only condition, uh, simply complex. So 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 my, uh, okay, so at the moment I, 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 I try to say introduce topology, so I make topological view on that. So I compare with the uh, hypergraph and the simply complex actually all uh, the, the game here is that 
if A belongs to K, then, then B may, may, may or may not belong to K. So in other words, it's just missing some faces. So, so possibly there's some face uh, inside this, uh, some face maybe not. Okay, so let's, uh, let's from my uh, point of view, okay. So so now uh, okay so now uh, uh, let's uh, 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 try to look at it a bit more okay so uh, and uh, here here's the way okay to to look at this one so I, I still again I, let's first the game we try to use to introduce topology I will look at the homologies here first okay so then, then we can move to for far less like homotopy or whatever geometry later on. So look at the homology. So I back to review. Let's review the simplicial homology. How 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 we pre produce a simplicial homology? Okay. So in this case, so let's say look at the simplicial complex. Okay. So the simplicial complex. So given either in uh, abstract way or geometric way or whatever you, you put here. Now the first step, of course, we we just construct a chain complex. Essentially, uh, basically, yeah. So essentially, just, just take a linear combination of simplices. Okay, that's all to make a, a building group. And so you can add, add the simplex together. And then the next day, you just define a boundary homomorphism. Okay, so that's it. So, and uh, uh, certainly in definition, you put the orientation on, on, on the simplex complex so that the boundary homomorphism can be. Yeah, can be very well defined in, in the way. Okay, so then then we get chain complex and take homology and that's all. Okay, so well, we, let's see. So this is the, the how we do for simplicial homology. So now we let's keep a object on hypergraph. So we try to follow the same same game. Okay, so I, I take an integral uh, integral case. Okay, so so let's let's look at the case. Okay. So first of all, you, you start with the hypergraph because uh, from this view, the hypergraph just uh, simplicial complex missing the faces. So you, you bring back all missing faces. Well, this is certainly the smallest simplicial complex containing this hypergraph, okay? No problem. Because uh, if you give a simplex, there the are some, some subsets out of the H then we just take back. So this is, I would say, this is, uh, let's call the delta H. So this is the simplicial complex. So, so the end eight is the smallest the simplicial complex, just collecting back faces. Okay, so now, now let's see. And now let's uh, take the uh, back to, to look at the uh, simplicial homology. So since that H is a simplicial complex, so we just follow the chain complex. So take a linear combination. Okay, so you get the chain complex. Now, now, the, uh, now what's the problem? Well, certainly there, there's a boundary homomorphism which is defined in the delta H. So that's the simple complex. So you have a boundary homomorphism. Now, the, the problem is that this uh, exactly like if you take the boundary homomorphism restrict to, to, to the hypergraph, okay? So you take a set. Now, it, it, this is not, may not be contained in the next line. So in other words, uh, if you just take a linear combination on the hypergraph, so each hypergraph say you have a M plus one uh, element, uh, the, the cardinal is like it's M plus one, you, we think about the N simplex. So, so take a linear combination of, of this, uh, <coughs> this one to forms like, uh, uh, just think about kind of like N dimension, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, the, the chains in, in dimension M. So you get the graded uh, uh, subgraph, but, but the problem is that the boundary homomorphism may not be well defined. Okay, so, so that's, a, uh, that's a problem. Okay, so now let's say, well, there's an interesting observation. So let's say, uh, well, let, let's move a bit. I, I think it would be pretty fun. So, so see, so that's, uh, I would say, revisit the chain complex. So we keep this question in mind. We have a chain complex, we have some, some great, this, Ability as uh, like uh, subgroups, and then, then we, we, when we, we recognize that this boundary homomorphism may, may not uh, uh, may not be well defined, yeah, right. right? So so let, let's let's look at the, the chain complex. So so suppose that you get C star is a chain complex, okay? And now let's just say pick up whatever any 
uh, subgroups on CM. Okay, so you get the uh, uh, graded uh, subgroups. Okay, so then of course it, it may not be a, a subcomplex of, of this uh, C star, right? May not be. Now, but on the other hand, let, let's take you to a, a bit of observation. So you keep this as a D star. So you, what is the subgroups you choose? And you look at the lowest uh, subcomplex of C star, which contains, which, which contains D star, okay? Then you take intersection. So in other words, you look at the smallest subcomplex contained D star. So, so I would say, okay, so here is the upper bound. Upper bound. So this actually, uh, is the smallest upper bound of the chain complex. Okay, so uh, let's contain D star. Let's uh, then you, you, well, of course you can always do that. Now the, then you do another way along. Okay, so you, you look at the from bottom. Okay, so so the, you look at the like C uh, double prime star, it's lows of low sub complexes, which contained in D star. In other words, now you look lower bound. Okay. Now, the, then there will be an interesting observation that, so you have a, this time uh, may not be a chain complex, but uh, you have a lower bound, greater the lower bound, and uh, like uh, this uh, least upper bound, and then they did, they guy, these guys are the uh, chain complex. So you have an inclusion of a chain complex. Uh, now the- you, uh, Sorry. Yes. Do you, do you mean the sum in the definition of in? You, you're saying the mm. union, but do you, do you actually mean the sum? Oh, yeah, it should be sum. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yes. Should be sum, sum, add, add it in together. Yeah. Add it in together still. Should be sum. Probably should be the same. No. I mean, there should be some kind of lattice there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just sum up of them together. Yeah. Yes. Sum up. I mean, oh, it, it could be a union because there, there, there is a biggest, biggest one. Of the, okay, now uh, now let's see. So, so interesting exercise. This is the proof of this uh, algebraic lemma. It's not very hard. So everybody can try to look at what happens here. So, so you assume that something which uh, may not be a chain complex. So you just pick up some subgroups and then you just look at the lower bound, the upper bound. Okay, so then you look at the inclusion. The, the, the key observation is that this in, inclusion J induces isomorphism of homology. So, so there, there's a gap in the middle, but, but actually uh, you can write on that and then work out that. So they actually hom homologically, they are, they are the same. So, so that's why the, the, the well, uh, it seems that it's, uh, we can get the, uh, that's like a natural way to introduce a, a, a homology only for, for, uh, for the uh, D star as a pickup either by taking the grid in the lower bound or the least upper bound, and that uh, this is the, uh, the way. Okay, so now we turn back. Okay, so so the, uh, this is how we, we define the invented homology. Okay, so the, again, so we start with a uh, hypergram. Okay, so this is something we try to uh, look at, and then we 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 take some closure closure. So you just close it up, and then then of course you you can get the chain complex. And then you 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 backwards to look at this uh, uh, this uh, grid subgroups uh, from uh, hypergraph, okay. And then yeah, you use the, these uh, observations from the uh, algebra. So you you look at the uh, uh, the, the grid is lower bound and the least upper bound, and then we just put this as a homology. And it seems a very natural way. Now, if this is the H uh, hypergraph itself is already a simple complex, you will see that you, there, there's a choice of the least upper bound and the greater upper bound, they coincide together. So, so it is a natural extension of the, uh, of the simple homology. Okay, so let's, uh, the, the, this is the, uh, let's say the definition of the uh, hypergraph. Okay, so now uh, let, let's look at a little bit of game on that. So this is a simple example. We test it. Okay, so so these uh, you 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 take the, the this uh, boundary of a triangle. Okay, so this is uh, as we see that this will be like a, uh, uh, 
like uh, the, the, the circle, right? Okay, so now the, the so this is the boundary of a two simplex, right? Okay, so now let, uh, let's take the hypergraph just to remove all vertices. Okay, so you may make a zero dimension to be empty. So, so you take away and uh, then, then you, so the, this, uh, the, the, the zero dimension, you get zero, right? So it's because the empty set, so, so you get zero. Okay, so now in one dimension, you have uh, 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 three, uh, three ones or three copies of Z because uh, yeah, we, we pick up the three one simplexes, okay? And now you, you look at the uh, inf star, okay? So inf star will be lower bound, greater is lower bound of this subgroup. So the zero dimension must be zero, no problem. And if you, uh, then, then the, the uh, inf one, so actually you have to take the, you make as a chain complex. So you have to uh, take uh, boundaries should go to zero. So that's, that's the way you add up to Alice, and that's a Z, that's the choice. And then now let, let's do another way. So you look at the upper bound. Okay, so you get the least, uh, uh, the, so, okay, so the least the subcomplex contained each star, right? So you, well, in this case, uh, uh, the the uh, uh, super one, so you should be containing, it must be equal to that because that's the uh, the, the case. So so the simply complex already the three copies that each hypergraph catch everything. So so that's the one, and then then you keep that as a as a chain complex. So so you have to take the boundary of that. So you get the, uh, two copies of that. Okay, so now now let's say you, you compute in uh, either way what you would, we got in this single example, you will get so first the embedded homology is Z. Zero's embedded homology is zero. Now the uh, well we, we found that the, of course no space have a, uh, have a zero homology is equal to zero. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Empty space does. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Any question? Yeah, just a curiosity. Like, um, do such things like come up in practice? Uh, like, you know, you're basically considering uh, the simplicial complex kind of without vertices. So you were motivated from data science, right? Yes. So, I mean, does an example like this come up in practice? With, oh sure. For you, you look at it, you for, for example coauthorship, a coauthorship, uh, like uh, this uh, network. Okay, so you, you look at the, there's a there's an A B zero one has a has a cause of the paper one two has cause of paper, and uh, zero two has a cause of the paper, but there's none of them has any uh, any own uh, paper, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, 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 there's a mini example because from data, they, they collapsed in the something. So I, I said, they want to general. So, so there, there, there are many things. Well, actually, if you look at the bio, biology, I, I guess there, there are some, you know, there are some, you, you do, do need a, a join together, you get an interaction, right? If it could be a single one, you may not have an interaction. You cannot do that. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. There are many, uh, that this, uh, this two, I will explain practical, real practical <laughs> uh, <laughs> practice. Yeah actually, these are two. yeah, actually this kind of science more practical than, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the full picture because, yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, yeah. So, so, so the, this example of a display here. So, so if you compute the, the homology, you see, uh, if you are filling back all the faces, then then the, the circle where you get the first homology is Z, zero homology is Z. So now you take the hypergraph, actually the homology can be different. So yeah, but I, I think this example, I just tried to say that the hypergraph homology can be different from uh, the simplest homology if you take this, uh, like this example, right? Also, you can get some strange things like the zeros, zeros homology can be zero. So this won't happen for, for spaces and never, never have such things. Okay. So that's the uh, example, see? Okay, is it okay? I move to next. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. So so now uh, now I was uh, saying a bit. So I think basically I try to explain the, how you define. The, then there there are some properties. So there are some property. Of course, you can do that. You can look at how how the uh, this uh, in, uh, hypergraph homology have some how they carry some basic properties of simplicial homology. For example, I pick up here is that uh, the definition of simplicial homology depends on the orientation of a simplicial complex, but the, the output is actually independent of that. And this is also true for, for hypergraph homologies. And so this, uh, uh, and uh, uh, let's like uh, this statement can be, you can try to trust me that this, uh, these properties can carry on. And uh, now I explain a bit of that is as actually this, uh, uh, as, as I said earlier, <laughs> the way we, we look at this invented homology, I say, oh, let's, let's, let's try just take it, you know, uh, the soup and the ink stars because it, they are very natural. Right? So we put that. And I should say that actually this is, uh, this kind of idea is inspired from the, uh, the work by by STO, they are looking at the past homology. There's an interesting that the the well, I just take examples. So if you look at the uh, they look at the simple, uh, you just take a say, say simple uh, uh, directed or uh, directed or undirected graph. You look at the past past complex. That means the set of sequence of of the passes or from zero uh, v zero the vertices go from one to another, right? So then you think about the, the, uh, this path, say, of age lambs M, you think about the, like N simplex. And then, then, you, then the problem is that if you have, say, you have uh, age from V0 to V1 and V1 to V2, then you get the path V0, V1, V2, right? But if you take away the middle vertex, say, V1, then you may not have a, a age from V0 to V2, so that's, uh, in other words, uh, you think about uh, like V0, V1, V2 as a two simplex, you, you, you will find that uh, you got a subsequence on that. Some of them may not be a, a, a pass again. In other words, you're missing something. So, so this is exact, and they, they, they directly defined the uh, so-called pass homology. Actually, then I try to understand that that's exactly, you are taking what I call like, uh, Info star and the super star. Okay, so that's uh, that's how. Uh, so 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 uh, uh, so I, I say strict speaking, and uh, this idea sounds very fun. It, it works well for for past uh, complex, and then then we move to hypergraph. It also works well. <laughs> okay, so now uh, now the uh, now, now when we do that, then we have, so I explain a bit more. More so, how these hypergraph and the past complexes? Well, they actually there's an overlap, right? Uh, and they're not exactly the same. So, so the if you look at the past complexes, so you get a collection of these uh, AG passes, like only only say simple graph, and then uh, you look at the operations like removing the middle point, right? And certainly there are some phases not exact exist. And uh, but there, uh, these are the uh, there are some uh, for past complex, but there are some uh, special property. So so the uh, it means if you remove the first uh, first uh, vertex, okay. So to so remove the first first vertex, then you have from v say v zero v one v two, remove v zero v one v two. Certainly you still have joint uh, H and they keep going. So if you can remove the last one, that still works. So, so this is a special for past complex. If you, uh, if you front and back, back, uh, back uh, uh, face operator is always works. And uh, for hypergraph, that's of course, because you just take some missing faces so you can be missing everything. So this may not be true. Now, now uh, on the other hand, if you look at the past complex, it is not exactly the everything to be hypergraph. So it, the other something happens that uh, the other two, two uh, you know, uh, okay, so let's uh, back to here. The simplicial complex has a special property that once the vertices decide uh, is given, then the simplex must be given, right? So any simplex is uniquely determined by its vertices. So this is how the simplicial complex must be. So you have a three points, A, B, C, then 
there's only two suplex to draw. You cannot draw two, uh, say, uh, uh, two, two, uh, two of them, uh, three, two suplex, two, two uh, suplex, uh, say, shown in the same vertices. This is not allowed in, in simply complex. And uh, now in the, the hypergraph, you just take part of them, so still safe. And uh, but for past complexes, uh, it could happen like this. Yes, uh, two uh, age passes, they, they share in like the same vertices. Okay, so the, 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 the no, they, they have some uh, uh, some some some, some uh, yeah, they, they could have some some, uh, some 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 may not be determined by vertices. Okay? So that's the difference. So in other words, there there are some difference between these two objects, and now the. Uh, the other way you try to do is to generalize this. Okay, so so you, uh, the, of course there are so many uh, generalizations and the variations of the the, the uh, symmetric complex. So now we, we put in something to be uh, try to generalize the notion for the symmetric complex. Then you generalize the notion for hypergraph. So there's a. Uh, 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 the way where one way is, is looking at that set. So this is a, so you also call it a semi simplicial set. Okay, so this is actually this is a uh, in algebraic topology is pretty popular notion. It's as a, uh, no, you know this uh, Alan Hatcher's book is is now pretty standard textbook for algebraic topology. In if you open the Hatcher's book, there's something what he, in his book it says right and called data complex. So data complex data set he just said. Data set is just abstract, abstract version of the data complex. It's, it's, it is uh, uh, quite a step. Now the the and it is uh, uh, now in it use if you use a notion of the data set, it uh, will X M will be like a set of n simplices. Okay, you think about that set of n simplices. Now uh, the then then you don't use the vertices, but use the the function as these arrows. Uh, from X and going down to X and minus one, pointing out to something. So, so in other words, you get one say n simplex. You should have a, say uh, I get a triangle, so two simplex. I should have three faces. So this labeled by d zero, d one, d two. And in general, if you get uh, n simplexes, you have d zero, d one up to d m. So m plus one faces going down. And uh, there's only one row. Yeah, actually, is uh, Quite a simple. This is a people work out. This is a, a so-called is a data identity. So so you, you just and this can rule out for 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 for, for the all that set and in in the way for the well in the Hatch's book you call data complex exactly how they do it produce okay. So now let's see. And uh, now the, from such a way uh, in that, in a notion of that set, you, you, it allows that you have two, uh, say, simplex, well, let's say two, one simplex, right? Two uh, from A to B, okay? Uh, so there's one arrow from A to B and another, another arrow from A to B, okay? So you, you, you can be two, join, two, one simplex joining the same vertices A, B. And uh, both of them has, uh, because I'm used D0, D1, so both of them, it works. So in other words, you have two elements in, in X1, okay, so as a one, one simplex, and then uh, going down to X0, you could be able to say, okay? So it, it is allowed. So, so in, in the uh, notion of a data set, actually it, it is a, a generalization. And of course, the, uh, the people in, you use more popular to use will be a simplicial set. That's because it's better to work on the uh, home to be uh, theory on that, on the for categorical view for, for some other reasons, then be better. But the, uh, I keep this notion of the data set because uh, for practical reason, I, I guess you, you want to elements as less as possible. So take, 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 uh, don't want to add in the degenerate elements to make it bigger. So that's why I keep pick up this uh, notion of data set as the example. And the homology theory will be, the data set is good enough to, to produce homology, okay? So, so now uh, from this view, I, I, I think it is the same. So we actually can talk about the like so-called, uh, where, what we call, I uh, call the Shoup hypergraph, okay? So now I replace uh, 
simply it's complex to be a data set. And then again, we allow like these, uh, some basics are missing. Okay? And so you get only a graded subset. And, uh, and uh, follow it as uh, uh, well, you again, so you can take the, this, uh, uh, the smallest uh, that uh, subset and uh, containing this one, right? Okay? So you take a smaller, so this is similar to, to the situation for hypergraph and then pick, pick uh, up backwards for the missing physics. So, so the, the game of, of, uh, of this one, uh, the following the same, okay. And uh, well, <coughs> okay, let's just see a little bit how, how the generalization go, okay. So this, uh, and uh, this will be, a, uh, is a super hypergraph is certainly, uh, is, is kind of uh, generalization of a hypergraph, so, so it, uh, it allows like uh, for hypergraph actually you only look uh, I will see more okay for the network if you look at the subgraphs then super hypergraph will be better notion to do that now uh, so uh, briefly speaking now is that the super hypergraph situation it allows like uh, you have several uh, well uh, several hyper age uh, like uh, you could have a hyper age can be like a multi county right multi multi set. So, so you, they, they can share the same uh, vertices. Okay. okay, so now if you use this, uh, uh, this notion of a shoe pipe graph, actually then uh, this, all these things can be packing together. Okay, so as a, a, a more general construction for, for, for like a, 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 a hypergraph and the past complex. So everything you can put inside this one. So, so far it seems uh, now this construction to me, like a pretty general now. Okay. Okay, so let's the uh, explain here. Okay, so now let's see how wide this one can be used. Actually, when we look at data science, I will think about like, you know, uh, think about uh, how can we produce uh, uh, topology there? And I look at the more for, for this uh, uh, graph, graphical data, uh, graph data. So, so the data is supposed to be given by the network. So, so in the graph, so instead of give us, say, say some, some point, or oh, there's one motivation is that people will say this uh, 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 persistent homology now is pretty classical, right? It's already uh, uh, classical. So you need to require the points located in, uh, in a Euclidean space, you know, right? So my question of motivation was try, okay, so let's try go out of that. So look at the data itself without uh, introducing distance. Okay, so in this case, so let's look, so that's why I will say, look at the, uh, say you start with, give us a graph, okay. Now if you from a graph, actually there's a lot of, then uh, you look at, there's a lot of way to look at the high dimensional uh, situation like, construction of a complexes, like for example, uh, clique complex. Also like uh, if you look at the Lebesgue, there's neighborhood complex, that's the way uh, work of Lebesgue uh, work uh, to, to introduce topological combinatorics. He's solving this uh, Nisa conjecture to, to look. So neighborhood complex is to look at the graph. So look at the lows, lows vertices, they have a common neighbor. Then you pick up this point, okay? So then, then the homotopy type of this uh, neighborhood complex actually is exactly plays a role in Levesque's paper. This is 1978. I can get a, a wonderful solution for Nisa conjecture, and then the area of the topological complex produced. And uh, later on, I think uh, Levesque introduced like home complex as well, and then there's many many others complex is constructed. In other words, if you give a graph, actually there, there's, a, uh, there's a lot of way, uh, people actually produce a lot of uh, high, high dimensional complexes out of these uh, graphs. And now the, uh, now if you use the, uh, as I said, if you use the notion of the super hypergraph, and uh, then, then certainly it will be make a general notion to unify these constructions. So here, as I said, I, we try to put uh, this, uh, <laughs> put applications uh, of topology as broad as possible. So let's put the more general notions. 
So in supergraph, you need you can you can collect whatever uh, subgraphs from this graph and as long as it forms certain uh, data structure and then you remove some phases. So this allows you to do that, right? Then in this case, then you certainly can make a, a freedom to construct a complex out of that. And then, then of course, once uh, do that, once you have a, uh, this homology on, on hand, like super graph, we have a super graph homology. That means what? That means we can compute the uh, Betty numbers, okay, from data. So that, well, then I would say you you put this uh, persistent on that, and then filtration on that, then you get a barcode, and then so you can move to uh, as a data analysis to to do that. Okay, so let's let's see it again. And uh, now if you look at the uh, super hypergraphs, so, so the, this will be something, as I said, like uh, uh, if you look at the graph, actually there's, uh, there's five wise structure is canonical here. You look at the subgraph and look at the vertex, vertex set of, uh, of this graph. So you, 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 you get the mapping going down. So you forget this H, uh, joining H because uh, the joining H can be joining in uh, different ways. So the object in the, in the subgraph, you can be a, it will be a certainly more complicated, right? This will be, and then you forget that you put it down. So in mathematically, just like projections uh, going down to there. And actually in this case, you get a pair. So it's a mapping on that. And uh, now the, uh, the one over here, you have to use like a data set to describe. If you go back to the, uh, the subset of the vertices, then use simplicial complex to describe and removing some faces, you get a uh, hypergraph to describe. And if you remove some faces from the data set, then you have to use the uh, super hypergraph to, to make it. So that's, uh, uh, that's again, so this uh, kind of like uh, uh, structures if you look uh, for, as I said, the, the potential applications of this uh, super hypergraph. And now let's say about defined uh, the homology of super hypergraph is essentially the same as, as the hypergraph homology follow the same ideas. So, so and that's why I, I put the, the as a data set or, or as the uh, contains this uh, this H here because the once you have a data set you have automatically create the chain complex. Then you moving this guy as a graded subgroup. And then we can use infant shoot to define the uh, homology. Okay. Now the now the, the situation is slightly different in the shoot hypergraph case is that uh, for simplicity for hypergraph, the simplicity is a, a the simplicity complex like a, a closure of simplicity uh, complex like a hypergraph is unique. So you just bring back the missing pieces. That's a, uh, the way to do that. But in the case of a uh, uh, hypergraph, because the data set, of course, you can take the small, make X to be smaller as possible. We we'll, we'll call like a data closure on that to define embedded homology, that's no problem. But the, the point is that if you choose the uh, different data set, starting with different data set, what I call like a, a parental data sets, then they may produce different uh, Homology. So the structure is quite depends on the uh, outside, like X. So this will be really like an embedded one. Okay. Okay. So now, now there, there are some properties. I would say because of timing, so I will give just give uh, you a, a bit of impression. So uh, then you, you look at some basic properties how it works for simplicity homology going uh, goes to this uh, uh, hypergraph homology or super hypergraph homology. Well, there's one typical <laughs> one is uh, may be a tolerance sequence. So, so for simplicial complex, certainly this is important tool for at least theoretically for computing the homology, right? And uh, now for, for, for the super hypergraph, you can do look at what's going on for, for the union of the two of them. And then it turns out that uh, they will not, uh, in general, will not produce one long exact sequence it will produce a two long exact sequence. The middle one, I would say that I induce is homology isomorphism, but there's two of them, there's a gap, there's one side and another. So in other words, in this case, the MV sequence becomes a bit more complicated than the, the, the classical 
simplicity homology theory. Okay, so there, there could be some other stuff. Okay, so now I have seen that a bit on, on the on, on the uh, filtration, right? So as I said, I try to get out of go out of the situation that we try for using distance to produce like a persistent homology. So now I uh, I will try to say produce the uh, filtrations uh, directly. Actually, there there is something this method what, what I call take a scoring or sol solvent. So you just create a filtration from that. But uh, anyway, so there, let's go back to uh, filtrations. So, so this is uh, I just pick up uh, this for the uh, Edis Bruner. He is working on this one right from his book. So the filtration if, if uh, a few of you, <laughs> it's a, uh, in case, how, this is how the implied people to produce. I, of course, I know in topology, we, we don't have to require this subcomplex as long as I have a, I have a tower we will produce filtration. But anyway, so we follow, I, I follow at this blueness one. So you take the uh, subsequences, so they will create a filtration, right? And then there's one important thing for, for this uh, persistent homology is that uh, for for any filtration, so this is a uh, monotonic uh, function. Uh, that's that, that's the condition for make uh, monotonic because of computational purpose. Uh, you want to decide how to you know uh, this requirement are, are useful in, in, in for, for for computational purpose uh, for that for, for determining the computing homology. So once you have a filtration on that, you will get to the person. Uh, uh, homology and then create the uh, persistent diagram, right? Okay, so now the important thing of this one, these people call like why TDA is useful because this uh, you can look at the uh, bottom uh, bottleneck uh, distance of that one and then it's bounded by the L infinity distance of the original one. So in other words, this so-called robust uh, property and why it's now people happy for, for persistent homology. And uh, this is a robust property also holds for, for the, uh, for hypergraph homology. So you, you can do that. Then, then certainly you can say there's original uh, work guys, right, the values. So this is scoring on that, or this, uh, you can think about the filtrations when to produce filtration functions. And then, uh, then uh, there will be, uh, uh, or infinity lens of that, then, then uh, once your filtration, you produce the persistent diagrams and then you compute the distance of that. So distance will be uh, bounded by, by the L infinity uh, uh, norm and uh, you, you're up to some constants, right? So this gives a robust uh, property, so it seems uh, useful, okay? Uh, because timing, I, I will not see uh, much more. I think now let's say I look at it application okay so the applications this will be uh, uh, I will try to, to show you a bit so this is a pickup in biology so this so-called protein ligand complex okay so in the purpose of a drug uh, design so 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 in this picture there's one two type of the the, the, the chemical elements you know, one type is coming from the protein another type of the chemical elements coming coming from ligand. Okay, so if you want uh, this, uh, this uh, say this uh, uh, this drug to be to be really like uh, helps. Okay, so means <laughs> the ligand has really have some real interaction with uh, with uh, proteins. So how how can we do that? Well, you just say that. Yeah, I think there are some pictures. So there there are some <laughs> uh, here are some pictures. This is from the uh, so. The, uh, the the interaction will be part of from the part of them, some of them from the proteins or elements from the chemical elements from protein, and some of the critical uh, okay, these chem chemical elements from the ligand, right? They, they are they, they are going together. That means that there's an interaction, right? If, if they don't go together, that's like uh, there's nothing happens, right? If you, if I circled out. You, Inside the short distance, oh, these are like two two elements. They are coming from the same same like a protein. So that means there's no interaction. So if you want to the category interaction, you shall be one side from uh, from protein, another side from uh, ligand. So let's make exactly it must be hypergraph. 
You cannot make a simple complex. If you take, take a, the sun sub faces must be removed. Okay, so let's let, that's how we look it. Actually, I will say I will then this is a real uh, practical one. So it's already published right now. It uh, seems uh, this is in briefings in bioinformatics, right? There's a young guy, so it's uh, Xiang Liu. I put here his photos, right? The, you can see there's a nice young, young guy to do that. They, they make a lot of computation and they really, really use what is, we call this hypergraph uh, based persistent cohomology. So, so running on the data. Okay, so the, this is a run the data. So it's, it's like uh, you see, uh, here's the pictures from the, uh, <laughs> from the paper. Okay, so this interac interaction, the idea is as I as explained explain that, so you have to construct a, a, a hypergraph. Okay, so say three vertices, uh, three vertices coming from say protein, two vertices coming from uh, say ligand. Okay, so this is a, yeah, we circle ligand. Okay, so this makes one, two, three, four, five. So give a four simplex, uh, uh, four simplex, okay. Now, if you, uh, all three of them coming from the, the, the protein, then we, we should forget, forget it. So they are not in our collection, okay? So that's how, how, how we, we look at get the idea to running of this one. Then we apply the uh, hypergraph uh, homology over here. Here in paper, we look at the cohomology because more convenient. So we look at the cohomology and then uh, just, uh, just the, to, to, to compute it, okay? So, so in this article, we just say everything just run from the data, okay, so you, uh, and compare with the, this, uh, with others. And this is the picture from the bipartite uh, uh, graph. So you, of course you can use that model, you will use bipartite and actually uh, now we use the hypergraph and form the better situation. So bipartite is uh, nothing for a second homology, right? So so you got the bit, second bit number disappear and in, in the, Picture we will still have a, a second a, a second cohomology shows up so so it's a, it give a, a additional information and now the, this the real game is to to in applications is to compete with the uh, with other methods right use uh, the, in the in the drug design so so here's the uh, the data is this is a standard way. I think they are uh, collecting from the standard uh, the data bank out of the, the one people running on that one. And the red one is uh, the prediction where uh, what we get is the, on, on the top. Right? So, so that's I think how why the the the, uh, the 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 paper actually now it's already published. So that's, I think that's uh, what I try to explain uh, for, for, for today's talk. So, uh, yeah, okay. So I think it should be, I, my talk should be here. Okay, up to here will be okay. So any questions from that? No. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chi. Uh, so yes, any, any questions? Well, I, I, I have one question. Um, so if you have a, a directed graph with weighted edges, yes. uh, presumably you can form a, 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 a super hypergraph out of this. Um, the, uh, yes. one, one question is, can you define homology in a nice way? And, and the other question is more specifically, um, that does it satisfy this monotonicity condition mm -hmm. um, about the the the, the, um, the, the, the um, f inverse always being a subcomplex? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, see the gap. So if well, you consider the diagram, a simple diagram, you look at it, right? You put the weight on there. That, that's it. That's, that, that's all it is. So it's just a directed graph with, with weighted mm -hmm. edges. So mm -hmm. I, I wanted to um, uh, define a, 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 a nice homology for, for, for this. So for the ah. first question, can I do this? Okay, so let's back to here. So this is the, uh, you, uh, with, uh, I, I go back to this uh, so-called uh, guy's work on this. 
right? So we give yeah. a directed uh, graph, let's see. Now let's put the weight, right? So the way to, uh, this is actually this, uh, uh, in your school, there are several people, they, they were work actually, uh, they work a lot. They consider the case, case situation like uh, the past complex. And you see, past complex is actually, if you think about this directed, uh, directed graph, like uh, as, uh, for, from the view of a category, okay? So if a category makes- so That's actually the, what category. I have in mind, yes, yes. Uh, uh, okay. okay, well, that's good. This is actually how they, they, I think they work on that. So you think about it. If you, if, you, if, you, if we don't look at this as a, a directed graph, we just look at this as a category. So that's like analogs, right? And oh. now category we have a composition operation. So right. in the, for any category, we have a nerve complex, right? Oh yes, right. So so uh, but, but but sometimes I just have the multiplicities and I don't have an underlying category. Mm-hmm. Very. Right. So uh, uh, with a classical, yes, one could form oh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the path. Uh, uh, but, okay. Um, yeah, yes, exactly. So if it is a category, so I just say, uh, then we have a nerve complex. And now okay. I try to explain how they, they work on the past complex. So past complex, essentially, you just like uh, get ideas of nerve complex, right? Right. So the nerve complex, you just take like, I don't know, think about these morphisms, object, morphism, 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 and this will help reduce the, uh, uh, the nerve complex. And now, of course, the, uh, well, this is not a category. So, so in other words, the, the multiplication, a composition may not exist, okay? Not a transit. So, so in this case, you, what you constructed out of here actually is a, a super hypergraph. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, so so in, so in, so in this case, uh, now in this case, so because they, 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 are, they are some like, you know it's not not exactly like what we have like for for complex exactly. So that's how they they work on this uh, uh, past uh, complex, and uh, uh, there will be uh, yeah. There's a homology theory, but there's one way as as I explained. Yeah, uh, just, just use this. Uh, Infostar, the superstar, that certainly will produce a homology theory on that. Mm -hmm. There they are a lot, lot of work they, they, they have done now. Uh, they have done now on, on these past complexes. And uh, uh, that's the one way, uh, well, at least that's the way what they are doing with that. Of course, if, uh, uh, I'm not sure whether there's other uh, canonical, this is the one, uh, I somehow it's a canonical way to do that. And of course, if you put the weight, so you remind me, if you put the weight on that, well, there, there will be some, uh, it raises another interesting question. So the, there are several things. One is uh, defined as, as like this, uh, uh, this like uh, this, uh, what I said, like uh, Shuke star, the ink star. Another way you just modify the boundary uh, op uh, operator, you just put like a weighted bounded operator, well, whatever, okay. or even I, I can make oh. a twist in that. You can wait it, everyone. And uh, several ways to do that. So the weighted one seems, uh, well, well, yes, actually, we, we also uh, we did some called weighted homology on that. And uh, well, let me say, say a bit. So for the weighted one, certainly will not, not you just modify that one. You just, just uh, put some weights. So usually with alternating sum of faces, right? But uh, for each phase, you put some weight in some, some canonical way to make machine run well. And uh, then uh, uh, well, I think we can even like, uh, this is twisting. The twisting is not a classical like uh, for construction like uh, uh, vibrations. It, it's, it's a twisting for the phases. It's a kind of funny way, just the twisting them. And they want to make machine to, to running. And also there, there are some way Actually, I will not sit down to work on that. We can do variations on boundary. If you don't want to look at on, on the face, I mean, aiming face, it directly go to chain complex. Then you can make a variation, then go back to like a, a Witten's way, uh, twisting. He, he's actually, if you get a chain complex, you take a variation on that. So you just add in another operator and then create a new one. And there's, a, well, because this is from the Witten, so there's some physical meaning for that. Yeah. Is there some literature? On, uh, do you have some literature on this? 
is this uh, your papers? Uh, yeah, my, some of my papers have been talked about the weighted uh, homology. Oh, okay, I'll, uh, right. I'll okay. Yeah. And uh, you, the, oh, I also have a paper, a paper called it, but let's let maybe it's go too much away because I called it go to the non abelian case. There's one paper with uh, Virginia and the, uh, the, 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 for, for the, what we call twisted, uh, what we call twisted construction or something. You just search there so in mm -hmm. 2017, I think in HHA, have some discussions on, on these twistings uh, of that. Of course, you can, as I said, you can more even generalize. And the weighted, uh, weight, or oh, let me say, weighted homology of simple complex, we have been looking at the, uh, 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 several papers on that. Uh, even even now, they have a lot of, uh, well, uh, 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 they, they bring to, to the applications. Several applied, uh, applied papers use this notion of weighted homology. So, and then the idea to weight, I would just uh, insert, <laughs> insert the weights inside the boundary. So it would make weighted alternative so, and then, they then create this homology. Right. Thank you. Right. Other, other. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, great. Yeah. Any other questions? So I want to, uh, uh, I have another curiosity. Um, has there been like a theoretical interest in uh, homotopy theory of hypergraphs or any related? Mm, uh, that's a good question. But uh, uh, so far, uh, uh, so far, where I uh, only located it because in for learning for the homology theory first, uh, homotopy theory. I, I will keep a, a slightly slow, try to understand better what what that means. But the uh, the application at at least at the moment uh, have not uh, tried to put in the area. Have not seen see it yet because the so far we we, we produce homology theory. We can do that, of, of course, but. I can produce the homotopy groups if you use the simplicial groups and we will take a, removing some bases detected and we can do that. Now that's no problem. The key point, as you said, we have two applications. Of course, that's exactly my my, public, uh, my, my own interest, right? I'm really like to look at the homotopy theory. Uh, I think it's possible, but uh, this, oh, this will make the constructions of the, you know, uh, usually we, we use a simplicity group can be a good model for homotopy theory. Now, somehow we can allow some faces missing. That means what? That means we can make a filtration to be in a, a more flexible way. So hope that it will help to, to detect the suspect sequence to, to make, a, you, you don't have to read the restricted one. So yeah, I can make a you know, middle, middle uh, make additional filtration like you, uh, the whole hope of that. I, I think it, it, there's a possible uh, applications in, in home to but that, that may be in future, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking more in the, um, so this would be theoretic. I don't know if uh, uh, people thinking of applications are interested, but mm -hmm. like, for example, having, I don't know, model structure on hypergraphs, for example, things like that. Mm, yeah. are, are people thinking about those things or for the moment is just figuring out applications and then <laughs> think about later. theory later? I think from an applied side, people just propose the questions like there's a model they go to that. I'm not sure they, if you look at this theoretically, there, there's one thing to think about. So let us just think about simply complex. That's the, the, the game they, they use in applications. But if you only view of a data science, the da 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 data is, is kind of like, you know, you may missing some data. So, so, so from that view, we think about theoretically, we have to think about some kind of mathematics, what they call like a very deterministic uh, method. So everything in ideal, uh, idealist uh, world, so everything you machine should be supposed to be perfect. But in practical, actually not so perfect. It means there's uh, like a limit missing something it seems pretty natural from practical point of view. So there's one direction like this, uh, if you have a good or nice math machine, suppose that there's some data, something information is missing. Okay, so now let's see whether this machine can still run well. 
let 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 I, I was thinking about like uh, theoretic way, I mean, it's a general way. How how can we still catching this one? Oh, by the way, this uh, this like uh, uh, what do I call super hypergraph method. We can work on the uh, like uh, for the graphs, also with networks, and because it's uh, more flexible, you can choose some collection. You can choose another collection. I hope like in future we can make some something like uh, so called not like a deterministic. There's a one like a TDA where people will say from applied will say this method the mathematical like formula here's an input and output right so so and but data it has a random feature so so but uh, if we put like uh, this more flexible way actually you allow something missing that means what that means that it's possible we can make a learning so so we can adjust adjustment of the complex okay so if we have some compare some features and we can com come back to learn and then this selection is not very good. Let's let's move a little bit to choose another one and keep going. So if you then if you do that that way somehow the yeah, uh, from application view will seem so will be uh, yeah from my view will seem so will be nice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And do, do you have a category of hypergraphs in mind? To uh, the, the category of that yes not uh, not uh, not uh, let's see not exactly the, the view I think the category of somehow I would think about something like the category is pretty complex but then you have something which changes in, inside right oh there's something between between simply complex and the category of, of graded set. Or, or I think the simplicial set and uh, that way may be better. So simplicial set and then the category of graded sets and the something you just for forgetful function. And then, then then you you just like you get some extension of the patch ways of the middle step. So you look at the pairing of that. Like uh, the one is one is a pairing from the say let's look at the simplicial sets, so the category of that. that Another one, you look at it as a, an analogy in the subsets. So that's the category of a, a graded sets, but you make as a pairs. So you, you somehow you are looking at something from this category and for category function fun for category and then like uh, then move the middle stage. Then. So so you think of in this description, you think of hypergraphs as functors from uh, a category which kind of replaces delta. In a simplicial sense, yeah, yeah. With a simplicial sense, it will be uh, the uh, you, uh, well. The category, I think, it's better. The simplicial category is, is better than that set. So you look at simplicial. So you look at the this one. Well, this think about something like it, 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 it's in the middle. So you feel like a, like a, a graded set maybe tell enough information, but simplicial set, set will tells you what's the geometry. Was the topology right? And then now you look at the, the pairing. So there's one, not a pair of the simplicial set, but a pair. One guy is a simplicial set, another guy is just like a graded set. So like, like, like a, the bridge from from the category of simplicial sets, and then some root goes back to to something which what I would call like a missing data information. So the missing some information like go out of there. Let then, then possibly try to work some what's the Functors go to at least the homology theory works means that if a functor from simplicial category to abelian category, then possibly you can extend better to, to detect this information. You can move, move to that. Okay, yeah, just to make sure you, you, I think you're saying that you need to embed hypergraphs into the category of simplicial sets somehow and then think of them as a subcategory there. Is that? Yeah, the category hypergraph. If you from category view, you see if the category view, the the, the simple complex, uh, uh, simple set is better than simple complex. Because the category, this is just pretty nicely described for that. So, so in that case, you certainly will move to 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 the simple set. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I was asking just to maybe make it more precise i was asking so you're assigning chain complexes to hypergraphs right in, in some way mm. 
And yes, yes. I was asking if there's a nice category of hypergraphs which makes this assignment into a functor. That's maybe a more precise. Oh, that's that should be a thing. Yeah, yeah. That's what be like uh, is the same as a simplicial uh, like homology with playing for something complex, right? You, you, the, the mapping for only between the maps between hypergraph will be like the same as, as the simplicial maps, simple complex. So you just simplex, you go to possibly uh, some degenerate simplex in, in, in the other one. So you, you make it like this mapping and this hypergraph homology certainly will be uh, carries this information for the category. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, let's thank G uh, for this nice talk. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.